These cicadas are periodical cicadas and emerge in great numbers every 17 years. But different groups of them in the eastern U.S. emerge in different years. The cicadas in our area, in southwest Ohio, are known as brood 10. Note that the X is actually a Roman numeral for the number 10. Here is a quick visual guide to cicada metamorphosis. This is a cicada nymph. It is 17 years old. In 2004, it hatched from an egg in the tree branches and was about the size of a termite. It dropped to the ground, burrowed into the soil, and spent the next 17 years tunneling underground and living on sap from tree roots. This bug has been living underground since before YouTube existed. This bug was already three years old by the time the first iPhone was introduced. In the spring of their 17th year, sometimes weeks before the emergence, the cicada nymphs begin making exit holes in the ground. The holes are made throughout the lawn, but are easier to see in bare spots. When the soil temperature, and therefore their body temperature, reaches 64 degrees, thousands of nymphs emerge from underground and look for a tree or structure to climb. The nymph finds a suitable place and latches on firmly with its feet. The back of the shell splits open and the adult cicada that has developed inside begins to emerge. This final molding process is very slow, taking perhaps an hour or so. Once free of the shell, the cicada must inflate its wings. This is a critical time for successful wing development. Fluid is pumped into the veins of the wings to expand them. Ideally, the cicada is positioned such that the wings hang down and gravity can assist the process. The cicada is now a tenoral adult, meaning it is in its final adult form, but is still somewhat soft. After another hour or so, the wings harden, the exoskeleton darkens and hardens, and the cicada is now a fully developed adult. 17-year cicada nymphs are rather small, much thinner than your pinky finger. Adults are similarly sized, though slightly elongated. Their wings make them look larger. The cicada emergence on our property started at this tree at the end of our driveway. Leaving for work on the morning of Thursday, May 20th, it was clear that the emergence was beginning. Numerous cicada nymphs and newly molted adults were everywhere on the tree. On Friday morning, the emergence was becoming epic. Thousands of nymphs were climbing the tree and transforming into adults. Nearby trees had some cicadas as well. By Friday evening, the daylilies surrounding this tree near the front porch had a good number of cicadas. The emergence at this tree was just getting started. In 2017, this same tree had a notable early emergence of cicadas. It is not unusual for a number of cicadas to emerge earlier or later than the rest of their brood. These cicadas are called stragglers, even if they emerge early rather than late. Cicadas emerging four years early is the most common scenario. On Saturday morning, the activity at the tree at the end of the driveway was incredible. This was the third day of the emergence at this tree, and the base of the tree was now a teeming mass of old discarded shells and newly emerged nymphs making their way to the tree.
Up in the tree there were hundreds of cicadas in all phases of transformation. And yet, at the base of the tree, an unending stream of nymphs were making the climb for their turn. At the front porch tree, a major emergence was now in full swing. Overnight, thousands of nymphs had emerged from the ground, and by mid-morning, many had already molted. By mid-afternoon, many of the skaters were ready for their first flight, and a few were even starting to vocalize in the trees above. For some, the first flight ended in the grass just a few feet away. However, most flew to the canopy of the tree, or to the canopy of other nearby trees. The emergence continued on Sunday, though perhaps in even greater numbers. During the night, thousands of nymphs emerged from their tunnels underground and made their way to the tree by the front porch. In the morning, the grass was alive with motion as the newly emerged nymphs headed toward the tree. The ambitious ones made it perhaps 15 feet up the tree. Though most seem content to complete their transformation in the foliage of the daylilies. Others simply found a blade of grass to climb and emerged from their shells there. Still the march of cicadas towards the tree continued. But stand in one place for a few minutes to make a video and they will turn towards you and decide that you are something to climb. By Tuesday, the cicadas were mostly congregating in this tree in the middle of the front yard. They could be seen flying from branch to branch throughout the canopy. The noise was relatively constant, but sometimes ebbed and flowed. Nymphs were still actively emerging, especially at this tree in the backyard. By the twelfth day, almost every tree on the property is full of cicadas, singing nonstop, flitting from branch to branch and from tree to tree. Only the males sing. The females just make a clicking noise with their wings. But somehow in this raucous noise, the two find each other.
After mating, the female will make slits in thin tree branches and deposit her eggs. The eggs will develop over the next six to ten weeks, then small nymphs will hatch out. The nymphs will drop to the ground, burrow into the soil, and begin their 17 years of underground living. In 2038, they will emerge, shed their skin, and become adults, and the cycle will repeat. This emergence is essentially over. The number of nymphs has tapered off, perhaps a couple hundred at the tree in the backyard. The adult cicadas will be very active for a few more weeks, then this generation will be gone. <laughs>